What up, my dudes? Welcome back to Daily Diecast. Today, we have another Matchbox video. So that's two in a row. And today, we're gonna crack open the City Adventure 2 5-pack. All right, so I'm gonna open this up off screen and then we're gonna jump right into the video. So we're gonna start with this interesting little meter maid. Radio Dispatched Unit 3. What does it say there? Some kind of inf parking enforcement, MBX security. <laughs> and even this one has side view mirrors. Man, Matchbox knows what's up. Oh, we got a little toolbox in the back. <laughs> That's neat. Some appropriate wheels. Oh, and some little bitty wheels up there. Interesting. And there's the base while we're at it. Has a little elephant on the bottom. Interesting. There's the back. There's the front. Well, it looks like it has a white interior, just a one-seater. Very interesting little vehicle. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, let's put that one right there. And you know what? Actually, let's do this one next. So going a little out of order, but let's check out this taco truck. There you go. We can see the inside from this uh, blue-tinted top here. Um, yeah, this is plastic. So to me, this is junk. But we'll look at it anyway. A little taco truck with a bunch of food items right there. And a little menu. Taco stuffing. Even though no one calls it taco stuffing. <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, there's the back. No opening parts. Best handmade Aztec tacos. The original fast food. Uh, nice wheels and tires. Uh, metal base. But yeah, pretty much just a piece of junk. I, I don't like plastic castings, not for me. All right, so uh, let's keep on moving here. And we got a Honda Civic. You know I love my Hondas. This new body style is pretty neat. I see a lot of these on the road in real life. Very nice, the Honda H is super easy to read. Very, very clear, headlights look great. This casting is overall fantastic. Got side view mirrors. It's like a metallic black. Gorgeous. Appropriate wheels. Looks like SI wheels from the early 2000s, late 90s. And the back just looks excellent. Excellent. Taillights look good. License plate looks great. Honda H looks good. Windows are rolled up. We've got like a light gray interior. And there's our black plastic base. Yeah, that's a really great casting and probably the reason I bought this five pack to be honest with you and really just to have a, a video to make I looked everywhere today. I couldn't find any die cast. There just wasn't any to be had uh, Let's see next one up. We got us. Uh, what is this? Uh, what is this? Uh, it's a Benz. Oh, okay. There we go. It's a GLE coupe by Mercedes-Benz Love those five spoke wheels side view mirrors once again metallic orange paint Rolled up windows, black interior, and again, really nice uh, details. Looks really good. Yeah, Matchbox is really nice. I'm going to build a whole new wall, I decided, for a Matchbox car. So I'm going to keep them separated from the Hot Wheels. But I'm going to build a, a new wall of awesomeness just for Matchbox. Probably put them in a different room in the, in the apartment until I get a new place to live. All right, and last one up. We got us an Escalade. Nice diamond white. At least that's what Cadillac used to call their uh, their uh, flagship white vehicles. Let's call them diamond white. Really nice rims and tires. Look at those rims. Those are sick. Wow, I love those. Those are really, really nice. Really nice. And again, side view mirrors. So every vehicle except that taco truck had side view mirrors in this video. Awesome chrome grill. Headlight tampos and some marker lights. Tail lights will look good. They're easy to do, just little stripes. Oh, that all of that looks great. Cadillac emblem, logo, escalade, all of it looks fantastic. Got rolled up windows and a black interior. That paint is really nice too. Very nice. And there's the base. Yeah, so overall I think it's a really nice little five pack. You know, with the exception of the taco truck, I think it's pretty cool. I even like this thing. I think it's pretty cool. 
<laughs> I don't know why, I just think it's kind of quirky. But yeah, I like it quite a bit. What do you guys think about this five pack? Was it worth the five bucks? Let me know down in the comments. And if you are new to the channel, uh, my name is J-Dog, and I post diecast videos every single day. And I will see you guys tomorrow.